This is The Digital Lost, thanks for stopping by. In this video, we'll be looking at a very simple, very loud, and very limited delay pedal, which is also very, very cheap, and a lot of fun. We'll be looking at The Breath Delay by Oral Dream. So I had been looking for a new delay pedal, something simple and kind of a secondary pedal. The main delay pedal I use is the Electro Harmonics Canyon Delay. Very popular pedal, great pedal, a lot of people love it and with good reason. It just does everything so well and it's like 150 bucks, which I know isn't a budget pedal, but it's for what you get, awesome. Um, I say secondary because I have been doing a lot more live recording uh, rather than layering and overdubbing tracks. Um, and just about everything I do runs through a delay and a reverb at the very least. I had been using this guy here, the Drifter Delay by Kalen, which was working great for me. I mean, it's a ratty, loud pedal, $40. Um, what can you expect? But the tape delay, the tape setting was yeah, great. Um, I 90% only left it on tape. Occasionally I'd throw it on the digital, which worked. Um, and I was happy with this just as a very basic tape delay until it just stopped working. Um, it's completely kaput. I don't know why. Yeah, it's I'm not fiddly to open things and try to repair it. I got it a, well over a year ago. It's unlikely that there's any kind of warranty. It's a $40 cheap Chinese delay pedal so I was just on the lookout for something cheap which this thing popped up online and at $28 yeah that's very very cheap I said in the intro it's a simple pedal so there's not really a lot to talk about I'm gonna be getting into sound demo very quickly uh, and I should say now that all the sounds will be keyboard and synthesizer there are a few reviews, not many, but just a few uh, online of this pedal. And it's all guitar, that's fine. Again, it's a guitar pedal, I get it. So I'm just putting out a keyboard, synth sound. But even if you are a guitar player, the theory and the ideas will still be the same. This is a very difficult pedal to tame. Bypass switch. Time, repeats, mix, very standard across the board. It is described as an analog pedal. I've seen online that it's very much not an analog delay pedal. That's fine. I think that's just their way of explaining or at least explaining away how loud this thing is. Holy crap. It's just a constant. And yeah, I live in an old house, but the wiring's fine. Other pedals aren't making that kind of noise at all. Um, so yeah, very, very standard layout. It's nothing unexpected. Until you get to this switch here. Now, NO, which I believe is normal. Analog style delay. But then you have GH, which apparently stands for ghost. And that flick... <laughs> Yeah, flicking that switch just throws it into a self-oscillating, just 
insanity mess, uh, which I don't know what you might be using it for unless you're scoring an old 60s or 70s Doctor Who episode, um, which in itself would be marvelous. Musically, yeah, it's it's very difficult to use, but it is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and with a name like Oral Dream, Breath Delay, Ghost Mode, you might get the impression that it's going to be an airy, breathy, ethereal style delay. Ghost Breath. But yeah, it's nothing of the sort. The self-oscillating sound, if I could liken it to anything, it would be the Korg Monotron delay, that little space delay guy, which I have one of. It's very, very similar, just that angry, grinding, just completely haywire delay, which just becomes a feedback mess, which is wonderful. Uh, I, even though most, well, just about all the music I've put up here on my channel is a very, it's lo-fi in nature, but it's still a very quiet, ambient music. I do love to play and listen to like really loud chaotic music just for myself and this is great for that sort of thing uh, and that's how I mostly used the monotron delay just for like frantic lunacy it can really as they're both the same they can take any sound and just turn it completely on its head and depending on your taste that could be completely unusable or it can be fantastic and yeah I'm, I hate to say it, I'm firmly in the middle for what I normally would do it's not usable but I still like it because it's completely bonkers yeah we'll be hearing that right now so let's go over there and play around with this thing we'll get some sounds going
that was the breath delay by oral dream uh yeah say take what you will from what you just listened to uh yeah for me it's a keeper um again 28 dollars you can't complain about that if i mean anyone's money that's just kind of just beer money um it's unique enough that I know I will get some use out of it. Not much, but there'll be some use. It's it's kind of like, you know... Alright, here's a weird one. Um, think Resident Evil 4, okay? You're on your 10th, 20th, 50th playthrough. It's an old game where we're all there. Um, you know, you've got your Matilda... Sorry, you've got your Chicago typewriter. You've got an infinite launcher. You've got plenty of health. But you always keep a rifle on hand. There are certain parts where that rifle is going to come in very handy. Like when Ashley runs away to work that crank. Like you can get around it other ways if you want. But there are going to be times when you're glad you can just use that rifle. This pedal is... <laughs> this pedal is very similar. It's... I don't need it. No one is going to need this sound all the time. But I'm going to be glad one day. I'm going to be like, yep. That's exactly what I need. And therefore, it has earned a place in the drawer of pedals that are very rarely used, but I sure am glad that they're there for certain particular little jobs that may pop up one day. Nice work, breath delay. Nice work. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it's helped you in any way, please give a thumbs up. It's really helpful. While you're here, check out some of my other videos. There's plenty of music, there are more reviews, and a whole lot more to come. If you're still enjoying things, please subscribe. You don't have to, but it's really helpful if you do, and it's really genuinely appreciated. Like, a whole lot. Like, cheers to you. Um, while you're here as well, if you have any questions or comments about this pedal, go right ahead below. Uh, if you've had experience with the Drifter crapping out on you as well, go ahead and let me know. Maybe I just got unlucky. Again, I think it's a bit of a gamble with some of these cheaper Chinese pedals. I'm hoping this guy stands up. Um, I am still actually looking for a secondary delay pedal because, yeah, it doesn't quite do what I want it to. But, yeah, if you have any suggestions for cheap workable delay pedals doesn't have to be as low as $28 like the uh the breath delay down here but you know in that region yeah go ahead and let me know below um but again thanks for watching uh really glad you could come by questions and comments down below please and yeah check again for more music and videos cheers <laughs>